right now we get a ton of crows and magpies and ravens showing up at these carcasses. If we had been doing this when West Nile came through, we would have seen a change in their numbers. We would have been able to quantify the difference in, in the numbers of those birds um, in a very effective way. We weren't able to do that because we weren't doing camera trapping, but, you know, next year there might be a new disease that comes through or something else might happen and we will be ready and that's that's really the goal of, of long-term monitoring we had some species show up that i think we weren't expecting great horned owls showed up uh, we had a bobcat show up we had a couple of times where we had inter really neat interactions between eagles and coyotes you know coyotes and foxes interacting with each other in the background of pictures we had a a fair number of golden eagles, and one of the things we can do is actually identify different individuals based on their plumage patterns, so we can understand how many are, are coming in. Um, here's actually a nice one of an eagle on the carcass telling a coyote to buzz off, and uh, you can see the coyote on the side, and the eagle's got his head facing right at the coyote, and the magpies are all sort of hanging out, trying to not get eaten by anybody. This was a half an hour later. If you see that coyote's tail, it's between his legs. That eagle is probably on, you know, might be sitting on the, the post that the camera's on. Might, you know, he's probably pretty close. That coyote's not, he's nervous. This is a, uh, a juvenile bald eagle. You can see it doesn't look like a golden. It's got a lot of white on it. And bald eagles, when they're young, can be really sort of strange looking. And one of the ways you can tell it's a bald if you look at the leg, it's not fully feathered down to the foot. And so if we go back to Golden Eagle, he's got feathers all the way down there, the white feathers, but uh, he's got feathers all the way down. The bald eagle, you can see there's a long, skinny yellow leg there, and that's one way you can tell them apart. One of the things we've learned about Golden Eagles is that they walk a lot. So this bird was sitting for half an hour up at these clumps of grass, and then you just walked in, didn't fly, takes a lot of work to fly. Golden with two coyotes there, one in the background, and you can see he's got his hackles up. He's not taking any grief from anybody. Golden Eagle eating, balancing himself. Adult bald eagle, adult bald raccoon. Um, that's a nice picture of a coyote. They're, they are pretty animals. This is one of my favorites. It's a bit of a selfie. It was pretty neat.